Hi, everyone, and welcome to JSA TV, coming to you today live on day three of ITW here on the floor of National Harbor. Uh, and I'm so excited to join, have joining me today Ray O'Connor, Chief Commercial Officer of Indigo. Uh, thank you for joining us. Most welcome, nice to meet you. Yeah, I know you made the trip all the way over from <coughs> Dublin to be here. I've been in Dublin, um, I came from Dublin three weeks ago. I've been in the States for the last three weeks. I've done a week in Houston at a broadband conference. And then it's on a week in our Denver offices for um, just to meet the guys and kind of say hi and meet some customers. Yeah. And then I'm here for a week in ITW and yeah, great. having a great time. Yeah. And so <clears throat> so tell us sort of how, how's the week been going? As we said, we're sort of wrapping things up a little bit. We have a yeah. bit of a half a day left here. Yeah. I think it's been going, like, it's been going really well. Like events like these in the industry, you kind of see the same people all the time popping up. And you kind of sometimes have the same conversations. I think there's been some kind of notable changes for me like, coming to this IGW. Yeah. There has been a bit of focus around the subsea cable industry, which is interesting. I saw a uh, set in on a session yesterday around the Africa 2 cable that we're involved in. Um, and also there's a, a bit of a focus on the FTTH market as well, mm. um, which is starting to bubble up in the in the US. We have huge experience in that kind of space in the, in the UK. Yeah. So I saw that as being a kind of an interesting change Um to what you typically see in ITW yeah. when you come here. Yeah, it's been a it's a, a big show this year, right? Yeah. I know lots is happening, lots yeah. of great conversations. Yeah. And I want to just back up for a second just to talk about Indigo, yeah. right? So for our viewers who, who, yeah, great, <laughs> perfect. So our, our viewers may not know, so if you could just yeah. tell us a little bit about So uh, Indigo, we're in our 25th year in business, so we're celebrating that this year. Yeah. Um, we are um, based out of a, a corner of Southwest Wales called Mega. Yeah. And um, we have our HQ there. And um, we also have uh, an office in Limerick in, in Ireland, West Southwest Ireland. Okay. And we have corporate offices just recently opened, well, 18 months ago yeah. in, in Denver, Colorado, yeah. which we also have uh, uh, opened some a couple of knocks into as well. So it's, um, yeah, a lot of change in the last couple of years in Indigo. A lot of good stuff happening and uh, a lot of growth into the future, I think, for us, yeah. particularly in the U.S., Right. Yeah. And we'll talk a bit more about that, I think. And yeah. I think I want to dig in first, though, to you, to your, um, I, I understand that some of the conversations you've been having have been about your unique um, yep. system operate, operating yep. system. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you wouldn't mind yeah. talking a bit about that. Yeah, sure. So I guess to cover off it broadly, um, so Indigo uh, supply a design, deploy and support service into the fixed line wireless data center and subsea space. So we've always had, you could say, game in the kind of network monitoring space. That was born out of uh, uh, the U UK alt net market, uh, which is the fiber to the home market in the UK. We established a presence in the, in the NOC network monitoring space a yeah. number of years ago. Fast forward two years later, we were afforded the opportunity to bid for a, a subsea cable uh, project. Um, and that formed the backbone of us opening up corporate offices in a NOC um, facility in Denver. So what we have today essentially is um, two NOCs in, in, in Mager, in our HQ in Wales, and two NOCs running uh, in tandem in, in Denver. They're open 24-7, 365. We have multiple operators on, uh, as customers, not just on the subsea space, but also in the traditional, I guess, fiber, terrestrial, uh, in-country kind of space. So it's exciting, I think. Um, and I think there's... there's Given what's happening in the industry at the moment, you know, you see there's a, this kind of, I guess, a lot of announcements in big tech that jobs have been shared. Yeah. Recently, some of the biggest operators announced that there's going to be jobs shared in some of the biggest uh, fiber operators. You know, we see that as an opportunity for us because those guys have networks that are growing. They have large estates that they need to maintain. They need to kind of um, upkeep. They need to redesign. They need to audit. They need to deploy more capacity into it. And that's exactly what, what, what Indigo do. Yeah. So... And, <laughs> In essence, their misfortune is kind of you know an opportunity for us and um, to help these people uh, grow their networks and maintain them and keep them healthy. Yeah, and so having you know team and, and facility and offices on both sides yep. of the Atlantic, so to speak. Yeah, yep. um, and since we're in I, at ITW and and you've been spending some time, yep. as you mentioned, this month in the United States. Um, what does and and your office? You said just started just opened in denver 18 months ago 18 months so ago. All, lots of focus here lots of focus the here. huge growth in this market for us at the moment we see particularly if you take like some of the areas that we operate into um i'll take the so we spoke with the network monitoring piece if you look at what we do in the fiber design space yeah. so we've been actively involved in what's called the uk alt net market for the last 
eight years or so. Altnet stands, stands for the alternative network operator. They're typically a five to the home operator. All of these companies are startups. They're all private equity owned and backed. Um, they all have lots of money, uh, but because they're startups, they haven't got much infrastructure. So typically these companies will outsource their fiber design um, requirement to us. At one point, we were probably dealing with of the top 10 best funded alt nets in the UK, seven were customers. It's a huge market. It's a 20 billion pound market in the UK. We see exactly the same situation now developing in the US. If you look at uh, President Biden's infrastructure bill, he's speaking to connecting people that aren't connected, particularly in the kind of rural heartlands. Um, and it's a kind of photocopy of the conversation that has happened in the UK for the last four or five years. You know, most of the big operators, because it's, I suppose, low hanging fruit, we've been to the big cities, the rollout fiber, the rollout fiber to the home products, and the rural heartlands would be missed. Mm. But we've been heavily involved in kind of rolling out rural broadband infrastructure to some really far flung places in the UK and Ireland. So we have game in that space. So we, we can definitely bring something to that conversation in the US, but it's a bigger market. Yeah. But the, the problem is still the same. If you look at the, the US again, in isolation from the rest of the world, it's a first world country, but 30 million Americans are not connected to the internet. Yeah. Like we, we call this the fourth utility. You know, everybody has access to electricity, uh, water or, or gas, but you can't connect to, to the internet. So that's a huge problem. I think Indigo are you know, very well positioned to be able to kind of serve that um, yeah. Share these alt nets and work with these kind of uh, investors to kind of roll out this broadband or full fiber, as we call it. It's so important. It's so important just to the livelihood and, and quality of life for a lot of people. Yeah, we take it for granted, really. You know, like I said yeah. in my comments, you know, you take water, flowing water from your tap for granted. Right. The it's same should be for internet connectivity. Right. So we've seen that again in the UK for the last for the last number of years. Again, we can bring our learnings, what we've kind of, you know, what we do in terms of best practice for fiber design into the US market. We tag, tag that on to when the network is built, and then we have our FLM services that we can kind of add into the mix. These networks still need to be maintained. They still need to be kind of built and grown out. When the networks are built and then deployed, you know, we are then come back into the customer to, to offer a managed knock solution. So it's a full wrap service. And I think that's what, what's unique to Indigo. We just don't offer the, uh, the, the, the stereotypical network monitoring service, we can offer the full wrap, and that's what brings value to, uh, to, to, to the client. Yeah, that's fantastic. Well said. Yeah. Thank you for summarizing that for us. Oh, I appreciate oh. that. And oh. so just for, as you're wrapping up, we're winding, as I yeah. said, winding up ITW today. Um, are, you know, any final things you want to leave people with or things they um, hope that they know? So definitely a couple of things I see difference this year in ITW in comparison to the last couple of years. Um, there's a, a huge focus on cost. As I said, yeah. big tech are shedding jobs. Right. That's an opportunity for us, which is fantastic. Yeah. And I've had some really good conversations around that this week. Um, the rural FTTH broadband uh, conversation is one that I've never really heard being discussed in ITW previously. Mm. You'd usually hear that in some other kind of events. Right. Yeah. But also what I noticed on the, on the exhibitor list, some of the US alt nets are actually present here this week which I don't think they have been before, like people like Zippy Fiber, they're, they're a typical US alt net. I don't think I've seen them here before at ITW. Yeah. So it's kind of the same, but it's not the same at the same time, if you get me. Yeah. And, and that just speaks to I suppose, what's happening in the US market at the moment from an infrastructure perspective. Right. It's, yeah. it's going to be a huge kind of, I suppose, growth market for us for, for the next couple of years. Um, again, we're in for the, for the long haul. We've established a presence in, in Denver. We have our corporate offices there. We have our knock. Yeah, uh, and it's, I suppose it's on me to deliver it. Has the yeah, oh, fantastic. Of the business. fantastic. Yeah, no pressure. So since it's on you to deliver it, how can people connect? So two websites. Um, we have indigotg.com, and for a subsea uh, cable, indigosubsea.com. Okay. Um, LinkedIn, Twitter, the usual socials, Instagram, the usual kind of social media. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you so much. We appreciate you joining us. Welcome. Thank you. For yeah. Having. Enjoy the rest of the show. Enjoy the rest of the day, and oh, yeah. and safe travel home when thanks. you when you eventually uh, drag yourself away from the u.s and head yeah, back been, to been Dublin. A trip, a long trip. yeah thanks. thank you and thank you viewers for tuning in to jsa tv coming to you today live from itw here on the floor of national harbor talk to you soon